everyone, and before we get into today's video, this video is brought to you by Gigabyte on the Aorus Model X Gaming PC. If you're anything like me and you don't really know much about making computers or all of the technical stuff that goes into it, then the Aorus Model X Gaming PC might be the choice for you. It's equipped with some pretty high-tech stuff, like a 12th generation Intel i9-12900K processor, which will easily take care of any rendering or processing tasks that you hand it. It also includes an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2080 GPU, giving you amazing visuals and seamless ray tracing and frame rates. Not only does it have all of those features and more, but you can also game and render out at 4K resolution, which, you know, if you're a content creator like me, is kind of like the new benchmark, so this pretty much has you covered. A big thank you to Gigabyte for sponsoring this video, and if you want to find out more about this PC, you'll be able to find a link in the description down below. And with that being said, let's get on with the video. Thank you, thank you, viewers. Yes, yes, a great sponsor, yes. Thank you, thank you. That was wonderful. Now onto the video. Welcome back to an episode of Jurassic World Alive, a special episode because if you look at our map right there, we have this precious, the Alacranix boss. That's right. Scorpions are now in the game. Not only have we released the Apex Scorpion bossy wossy, but we've also, if I click on, I think it's the incubator that's out at the moment, and you click a battle, we've also got this scorpion. So, you know, we may as well just, like, have a look to see what the scorpion does. It's probably not going to do anything because I'm going to do Rexy uh, Mortem and just make it go bleh <laughs> all over it. But, you know, I kind of want to see it. So we'll put out Rexy first. Let's see what Rexy can do. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Should we, should we let it do a hit once? I mean, don't, I don't kill it. Okay, we'll let it do one hit. Let's see what it does. Oh no, poison counter. Okay, okay, okay. Resists, of course. Most things do resist. Enfeebling impact, which nullifies. Also puts more bleed on and a swap prevention and could stun and still does a bloody load of damage. I'm 50% resistant to that. <laughs> and already like taking one hit. What about the second hit? Is it still really bad? No, okay, okay, okay. So I think the counter is one turn, and that bleeding is two turns, right? And then and then we can ba basically just absolutely annihilate the albergosaurus. And then next, maybe annihilate the Indominus. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even go for cook. Okay, so definitely annihilate the Indominus. So we have a strategy. We have teams with us. Uh, we're communicating. And once we start the uh, raid, I will let you know of the tactic. This week's event? Oh my god, it's a good one. Okay, so, <laughs> wow, this week? Um, I mean, because I'm uploading this today, there's no point really talking about Wednesday or Thursday in the comments. But Friday to Saturday, you've got the actual scorpion! Yes! Um, I don't know if the scorpion has another evolution. Yes, it does. It does have a hybrid. So, if you've got the, um, the giga- <laughs> The Gigantosaurus hybrid, then don't dog Giga. And Indominus Gen 2 is useful for some things, but really, the scorpion is new and you get nine attempts of darting the scorpion. So, I would say dart the scorpion. But the Sunday, yeah, that's the one. The Sunday is the one that's going to be most fun. Uh, because you have a legendary incubator to get, or sorry, an epic, but you also have two attempts to dart Indogen 2, Rexy, or the new, like, Atrociraptor Sarko hybrid. Probably gonna go for Rexy, right? I would say Rexy's the one that's kind of the only way you can get is by events and stuff. But, 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 we have one attempt to dart the new and improved hybrid, or as you say, new hybrid. It's the Tricero Pterodactyl thing, that, yes, which is very, very good. So yeah, don't miss out on that. You've got one attempt to do that. And then on Monday to Tuesday, you've actually got some decent things. You've got the Therizinosaurus, which, you know what? If you want it, it's there. The Titanobo Gen 2, which I think does go into something. And also the most coveted dinosaur, which only appears in raids, Oh, sorry, events, and that is the Albertosaurus, which you will need for the Alberta Servia hybrid, uh, which is still used a fair bit because, you know, flocks aren't going anywhere. So, yeah, if you have a chance, I'd probably doubt that of all of them. But let's uh, now get into this crazy raid. 
Okay, so here is the strategy. I'm being Rexy. We've got a Thor door because we usually have a Thor door in a lot of things. It's good for hitting most things. Uh, also cleansing itself. Uh, Paratops as well because it's a great healer. That's what you want. You got your support. Um, then you got your, your utility, which is the Scorpius. Um, which basically is only going to do one thing in this game, except for, the, yeah, except for the very end, where it goes for, like, its toxic quiddles. But pretty much, Paratops is doing what it normally does, and that is, like, take any buffs away from them and decrease attack. I'm basically doing what I always do with Rexy, which is hit everything. That's what Rexy does. And Thordor also is doing what Thordor does, which is basically hit everything, including minions, and then deal a massive damage blow in the second hit. A quick thank you to uh, Prosi, uh, Yarkas, and David for setting this up, because honestly, those guys, they make all raids easy. And I just have to sit there and go, what do I have to do? Okay, click that button. Go, go, go. <laughs> also, we're going to see the Anklerinix boss in the day. Um, I don't know about you, but m I mostly do all my raids at night. Because uh, I don't see mornings. Um, and I'm assuming most people also do the raids at night. Because they have work or school. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. I can't wait. Day raid. You should get more for a day raid. Oh, here it comes. Look at it. Oh, it's like a blooming sea scorpion. Oh, it has the same kind of animation as the rest of them, I'm assuming. But the Scorpius or scorpion animation of it, like, running around is really cool. Right, okay. So I just go for my roar. Now, my Rexy is pretty high level. I mean, it's maxed, which, you know, <laughs> is, is a lot for a Rexy. Also, it has its attack pretty high, too. Uh, so this is going to be interesting whether or not it's going to make much of a difference. Uh, so we need um, the scorpion here to... Or the scorpius. Oh, God, there's multiple scorpions now. Um, to go for a cloak. And I think maybe reduce its attack, get our evasiveness up. And then we need... It. Oh, the instant distraction. Oh, that's not good. Uh, but I get to raise my attack anyway. So at least I'm doing something. It's nothing crazy for me on my hit. Uh, we should do oh, it doesn't have the counter. That's interesting. I thought it would have the poison counter. Oh, not, though. Okay, so not everybody gets cloak. Okay, so what is it doing here, then? It's just reducing the scorpion's attack, then, maybe? Oh, my God, parity with the extra attack kills things with its regular hit. And then comes the cleansed. Right. Beautiful. Okay, so what's it going to do? It's going to get an evasive. Oh, there's the sting. Oh, my God. Yes. Could it have gone for anybody there? I think it might have. <laughs> Maybe it went for the, the quickest. I didn't see that. Um, this might not be good, though. Um, I get the feeling... Oh, the, the, the score. Oh, that Scorpius might die here. Okay, so I just need to go for my biggest hit to get some health back. Uh, for the next turn, which I'm going to take a hit. Yes, I think we could do it. Do a little clap. Yes. Also, we will unlock the regular scorpion in today's video. And there's also a skin for Red, which is awesome. Oh, that's the big hit. Big hit, yes. Or maybe we'll have like two videos today. Maybe we can focus on this raid. Oh, there we go. And then in the next video, we could focus on, like, getting the scorpion, interacting, and then doing some regular battles. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. Wow. Okay, we really didn't need that much damage. Now, I'm a bit worried that this might kill Scorpius. Or s will it? We'll have a look. Oh, it's alive. There we go. Okay, didn't do too much damage. I didn't check what its regular hit was. On um, So, it's 5,100. Ooh, oh, oh, what's that? Look, it's got a, It has eyes. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh, this looks so freaking good, man. This is awesome. Okay, so I basically now just go for my small hit and then a rampage in the next one. Okay, right. Uh, so small hit? Smallest? Yes, smallest. Yes, James. Click the button. Click the button. Right, so... We seem to be repeating, you know, I think the minions always go for the same hits. Um, but it looks like he's going for the lowest health, which again is going to be Scorpius. Ah, now I see how the tactic is working. And it's basically because Scorpius Rex is the lowest health out of everything. It means that the lowest attack from this Scorpion is always going to go onto Scorpius Rex. But because it has a cloak... Maybe it's a 100% cloak, like chance to dodge. 
Ooh, that's great, actually, if that's the case. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. <laughs> but I do resist by 50%, I think. Oh, no. That's Mortem Rex. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's going to be like a Jurassic World kind of day. Maybe we're going to have two videos on Jurassic World Live and then a video on Jurassic World the game because there's some good things that are coming to Jurassic World the game. I I'm really excited. Uh, so we need to get our... Oh, no, it's three for round two. Ah, okay. Now, normally when, you know, you get the pros on, you know, these sorts of games or these raids, it's, it's, it's mainly like a two hit. Two hit each round. We got a three in the middle for round two, but I feel like because this thing doesn't cleanse itself, it doesn't have a counter, I feel like you could very easily get this to like, maybe first round turn two, second round turn one, like only one turn, and then third round turn two, like two turns. So I feel like you could get to a five turn raid, where at the moment it's like a seven turn. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got it. No, we got it. We pray. Bear, pray. We survive. <laughs> we did it. It is definitely time to heal. <laughs> also, I want to do like the um, the live streams more where we do, you know, we just test out things like this and see how far we can get a new Lost Shores. Um, because the last one was loads of fun. And then we turned that into a video and it didn't seem to, it, it performed just like a regular video. And the fact was we had chat interactions as well in the video. So like, you know, it was pretty good. If I could get like live chat on this without live streaming, that would be the one because I, I, maybe I'd have to record it separately. Anyway, anyway, so we are in turn three and I basically just go for this hit and then biggest hit, interesting. Okay, yeah, we're targeting Lois, which would be, no matter what I do, would be me too. So what's he going to do? He's doing a devour, nullify all positive effects, and also hit everything. Um, we needed the priority heal, and Yurakas didn't go for it. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. But hopefully, I mean, Scorpius Rex is dead. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, I love this weird dance. I can imagine with like, um, shakers. Like, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, okay. So it's going to heal itself. Hopefully it doesn't heal itself too much. Um, unfortunately, um, how much is, oh, how much bleed is that going to do? We do heal. I think it, oh, we resist it. Okay, that's good. So I'm assuming the next turn should be the big one. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Um. Although I was saying that, the Gallimimus should definitely be dead. Which is very good. That's good news. Good news all around. We gotta... Good news. Good news. Good news. Okay. Uh, and then... Oh, okay. It cleanses itself. Uh, oh, yes. It hits everything. Okay. So, the Paratop should have healed everybody there. But it didn't. Which is interesting. I don't know why it didn't. Now we're getting, like, an instant rend. You... Can you do your, like... Priority? Do I think it's time to heal. Uh, where's heal? Heal, please. Time to heal. Yeah. Well, it's too late now. One of us is dead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, proceed. I, I don't know what this guy's wanting to do, but he's making it very close. <laughs> We're going strats beyond, but we'll see what we can do. Anyway, yeah. Didn't want to heal me. I can do a chunk of damage. Um, and I'm gonna heal a lot now. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we, we got this, I think. As long as it doesn't do a massive group hitting hit. Uh, we'll see. Okay, it's doing a massive hit onto somebody. And it's gonna do 4,400 damage. Which actually isn't too bad. Uh, now I can go for this one. And, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. So next turn, next turn we're fully healed. Okay. And then we've also got uh, speed increase and attack increase. Oh, do I just get the attack increase? I think I just get the attack increase. Oh, wait, oops. I made him quicker. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> but at least we've got the most amount. Oh, God. Oh, he survived. <laughs> That's good. I was like, wait a minute. I've just messed this up. Um, now, I am quicker. I think we're, all, we're both quicker now. Are we quicker for the next turn as well? Maybe. Let's see. Yes, we are. And that's it. Yeah, there we go. I think I have just gotten the final hit. Uh, Blava, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Show my feathers. 
Brilliant. Okay, so that is maybe how you go a little bit off, um, off strategy. <laughs> oh, that's great. The twitching. That looks brilliant. Wow. Okay, so we are done. Well done, everybody. You did great. Yes. And then next, I think we can definitely like check out the scorpion in the next video as well as do some battles. I don't think we're going to be able to do battles with this scorpion. Um, oh, what have we got? Let's see. How many do we get? We get 25. Yes. I think 15 is the minimum you can get. So the fact we got 25. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. All right. Unfortunately, you can't keep on doing it and getting more DNA. You only get one chance. But if we just look at the animation on, on this thing, it looks so good. It's it's even, it's even weird that it's like sides look like it's split. Like the carapace is only on the top and the bottom. And the side is this... What looks like you can squish your material. Ooh, very, very strange. Anyway, that has been this video. It's been short and snappy. It's very good. Um, but, you know, if anybody wants to see the strategy, you can find it right here. Until next time, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.